Chapter three, the first part of it is moles and percent composition. You can pause the iPod and read your objectives. All right, and mass spectrometer is going to tell you which elements are present in your sample and what percent abundance are they. So in the picture here, we have three masses. We have one that's at 24, one that's at 25, and one that's at 26. And the most abundant mass is 24 at 80%. With that information, we can calculate the average atomic mass of an element. The average atomic mass is what's found on the periodic table. It's the average of all the elements isotopes. And it's a weighted average, like your grade. So you have the mass of isotope 1 times the percent abundance of isotope 1. And remember, you can't just plug in 80%. You would have to use 0 0.80. So you have to use the decimal form of the percent. Plus the mass of isotope 2 times its percent, and so on, however many isotopes that you had. Remember that your mass, or the weighted average, has to be somewhere between your highest and lowest mass. Alright, let's see an example. So here we're given three masses. They gave us the rounded weight, but we're going to use the more specific one if they give it to us. So we have 283.4 times 34.6. But again, we need to use the decimal, so divide by 100 plus our next mass times its percent plus our last one multiply and sum all those up and we want to have our ants well we get 285.62 but everything's in four sig figs, so we want to put our answer in four sig figs, which gives us 285.6. Pause the iPod and try this one on your own. All right, on this one we have mass and its percent and another mass in its percent. So 64 times 0 0.20 plus 55 times 0 0.80. Again, our mass has to be somewhere between 64 and 55. So I could eliminate A and B right off the bat. Also, it's closer to 55 because 80% of the mass is 55. So we can probably rule out B, but solve it out just to be sure. And we do get 56.8. And the units are AMU, our atomic mass unit. All right, the mole has three definitions that you should recall. First, one mole is equal to the molar mass. You get the molar mass from the periodic table. One mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules or particles. And finally, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. This definition is only for gases at STP which was standard temperature and pressure. So first thing, calculate the molar mass of calcium chloride. First, you have to write your formula. So that's our formula for calcium chloride. Looking on the periodic table, calcium has a mass of 40. Chlorine is 35.5. Remember, don't round cal uh, chlorine or copper. To the whole number. But we have two chlorine, so we have to multiply that one by two and add them up, which gives us 
111 grams per bowl. If we want to know how many moles are in a certain amount of grams, we need to do dimensional analysis. We start with what we're given. And we know our conversion is one mole equals so many grams. Again, getting our molar mass, carbon is 12, hydrogen is one, so we get 16. Dividing that out, we get 31 moles. And try this one on your own, pausing the iPod, restarting when you are done. Alright, first thing you need to do is find your molar mass of iron 3 chloride. Again, Roman numerals go to iron. So that's our formula. Iron has a mass of 56, fluorine 35.5. But we have three chlorines. And so summing it up, we get 162.5, which was C. Alright, again, we're going to start with what we're given, 15 moles. Oxygen gas. Remember, oxygen can't stand alone. There was seven elements that couldn't stand alone. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, and hydrogen. If you see any of those, you have to have two of them. Okay, if we have moles there, we have to have moles down here. We're looking for liters, so liters goes on top. And one mole equals 22.4 liters. Multiplying that out, we get 336 liters. But we only had two sig figs, so our answer needs to be 340 liters. Okay, the bottom one, we're going from grams to molecules. It doesn't say anything about moles, so we know it's going to be a three-step problem. Start with what we're given. We have grams, we have to have grams on bottom. They don't say anything about moles, you have to convert to moles because that's what all of our definitions are based on. So one mole is equal to 58.5 grams. We have moles there, moles has to be here. And we're looking for molecules. One mole was equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Again, we want three sig figs. So 5.65 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Pause the iPod and try this one on your own. Again, we're going to start with what we're given, 100 grams. Grams is on bottom. One mole. Because it didn't say anything about moles. Our molar mass was 111. And one mole is 22.4 liters. So we get 20.18. One eight liters, but we need three sig figs because our original problem was in three, so we get B. All right, percent composition. 
just like any percent, it's the part that you're looking for over the whole thing. So you need to find the molar mass of the entire compound and then find the mass of what you're looking for. So it says calculate the percent hydrogen in water. Water has the formula H2O. Hydrogen has a mass of one, so we have two of them. And oxygen has a mass of 16. So my mass of hydrogen is two over the mass of the entire compound, which is 18, times 100 gives me 11.1% hydrogen. Ammonia is in H3. Make sure that you remember what ammonia is, not to be confused with ammonium, which is a polyatomic ion. Nitrogen weighs 14 grams out of 17 for the entire mass of ammonia. So the percent ammonia is 82.4. Pause the iPod and try this one on your own. All right, nitrogen dioxide, one nitrogen, two oxygens. Nitrogen is 14. The entire compound weighs 46 times 100 gives us 30.4. Okay, that concludes the first half of chapter three.